great news, LumaFusion 3.1 is out now. And in this video, I'm gonna cover all the new features and how you can use them. So let's start with that new headline feature, video scopes. Now this is seriously cool if you wanna color correct within LumaFusion. So to get up the video scopes, all you need to do once you've got your clip selected is just simply press the number five on the editor's keys keyboard shortcut cover, or if you're going into a clip with the Apple Pencil, you can simply double click it and then go to color and effects along the bottom here. Now, all you need to do to bring up these new video scopes is start to make some adjustments. So I'm gonna click on original up here, and then on the top left here, you can see we've got this new icon right here. Press that and that's gonna reveal these brand new video scopes. So from left to right, we've got a histogram, a waveform, and a vector scope. And if you wanna learn more about how these things work, uh, I'm gonna be doing video tutorials for LumaFusion for all three of these and how to color correct skin tones as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna see those. But anyway, back into this. So you've now got these three um, video scopes here, which are super handy. and you can drag these up and down so we can make the video viewer bigger or smaller. And then we can drag up the video scopes. Um, we can even click and hold this little icon here. So let's just say you wanna jump and just have two types of scopes, you can do that. You can have one larger to the left and a smaller to the right. You can have uh, one on top of the other. Or if like me, you tend to use just one of those waveforms during a project, you can set it to one and have a bigger one here. Okay, so now if we look at these video scopes, there are more options here. If you click the down arrows, you can change any of these. So you could have two waveforms if you want to, or within the histogram, you can change the kind of parades that you can have. So you can have a horizontal parade, a vertical parade, or an overlay. I tend to stick to an overlay on that. Uh, if we go to the waveform, similarly, you can change this again if you wanted it to be another vector scope. You can change it from RGB to this. You can change it from red, green, and blue. You can change it to chroma or luma. Uh, I, again, I tend to stick to RGB on this. And then lastly, we have um, a vector scope here. And if you've never used a vector scope, as I've mentioned, we will be doing tutorials on these, but these just help you get exact color tones, color matches, and skin tones as well. So this line you can see across here is actually for matching skin tones. So if you have a camera that tends to shoot a little bit more green or a little bit magenta, this will help you get those really perfect colored skin tones. Now, I'm gonna quickly show you how I color correct. I tend to use these waveforms. And essentially this middle one here, uh, I'm just gonna set this to one. Let's just hold this down. Let's go to one. I'm gonna change this over to the uh, waveform. And essentially you've got these values here um, and you can see anything over around about a thousand will be blown out or overexposed. Anything below this zero here at the bottom will actually be kind of underexposed and, and your blacks will become crushed. Now this shot isn't actually too bad, but I'll just show you quickly what I would tend to do. So I kind of tend to bring the blacks just touching that line. This one's not far off to be honest. Uh, the whites we can bring down a little bit. I'm, I'll bring it down to about 900 so the sky isn't blown out. And in the midtones, I actually like to tend to bring my mid-tones down, but if you want that faded look, you can bring this up a little bit or down, you can do that. Um, you can see this is adjusting this here on the waveform there below. We can adjust the contrast and you can see there all the blacks are being crushed at the bottom there. So again, you wanna make sure you're not crushing your blacks and just go through and adjust your colors as you normally would. And then when you uh, wanna see the original and the, and the preview, you can just click here and click them on and off. So that's on, that's off. Um, and of course, just make your own adjustments and play around with this. But it's just such a cool way you can do this in Final Cut and Premiere. So I'm so glad they brought the waveforms and other scopes to LumaFusion. Next up, you can layer multiple LUTs or effects to your videos. So again, let's find a different shot this time. I'm gonna go into there. I'm gonna press number five on my keyboard. Uh, and then we're into the video scopes. I'm actually gonna turn the video scopes off for this here, but let's just say we've done our color adjustments and we want to add a LUT. So we've got these editor's keys LUTs here. You can get these from the editor's keys site. I'll put a link in the description below. But let's just say I want to add the Arctic LUT. I'm gonna take it down very slightly, see what that looks like on and off. There we go, it looks pretty nice. In the previous versions of LumaFusion, you could only add one LUT, but let's just say we want to add another one, the Editor's Keys Cine Green, and we want to combine these LUTs for a really nice kind of, almost a vintage look. So if 
we turn both of those off, you can see how it looked before. Turn it on. How good does that look? And again, if you wanted to see the video scopes, you can click at the top here, turn it on. And something else I want to mention actually about the, the waveform editor is it's kind of live. You can see here as you play the video, you can see the things moving through those video scopes. So let me just find another shot where we've got kind of something happening, maybe this shot here. I'm going to click into that. And let's just play that through just so you can see that waveform. You can actually see the colors kind of bouncing up and down. And it's like a reflection of all the colors in your image. And it will show you that on the waveform there. So you can do that with uh, sound effects as well. We can multi-layer sound effects. So um, let's go to uh, the sounds. Let's add an effect here. Let's just say we want to add a dynamic processor. And then we want to add a limiter as well. You can add multiple effects. And also what's nice, what's nice about this is you can change the order of these as well. Whoop, I've just clicked out of there. You can drag these up and down now. And, and believe it or not, this actually makes quite a big difference. So um, I'm not a huge, huge audio editor, but you can actually create audio effects and it may be that you want the telephone style effect. If you drag that up, it's going to have a more dynamic effect on your audio than if it's dragged right at the bottom. So it's worth playing around with that. If you are doing audio effects in Lima Fusion, you can now uh, add multiple effects, multiple LUTs, and you can change the order of them. Next up, we've got improved drag and drop. So before, when you clicked on a video file, it took a second or two to kind of preview that and get that ready before you could drag it in. In this version of Luma Fusion, you can simply click and drag and drop it on top of the Eclipse and it comes in right away. So that's pretty cool. There's no delay. It's much more like Final Cut or Premiere. You can also do this with transitions as well. So if we want to add a transition between two clips, let's just uh, do this burst one so you can see this. Let's drag it between maybe two shots at the bottom here. Let's do it between the seagull. Oh no, let's do it between these two. So I'm going to drag and drop this burst in between here, drag it in and straight away, it's going to play that. So bigger improvements there to drag and drop within LumaFusion. Now something else they've really improved is the multi-selection within LumaFusion. Now this was actually here in LumaFusion version 3, but they have improved it uh, and it's actually one of those features I don't think a lot of people are aware of. So if you're using the trackpad on the Magic Keyboard or a mouse like I am here, you can just click down and drag over multiple clips. So this makes it much easier if you want to say drag these clips out and reorder them, put them on the top there, or if you want to paste an effect or some attributes to multiple clips. You can now simply drag over clips like you would on a desktop. It gives you the indication there with that blue bar of what you've selected. Uh, and I think it's a great improvement to LumaFusion 3 and now 3.1. And lastly, there are improvements to keyboard shortcuts. You know we love keyboard shortcuts here. So for example, you can press Command and I, and this will open the import window. And you've got improvements to things like zoom in and zoom out. So on the keyboard cover, if you hold Command and minus, or Command and plus, that now works as a zoom in and zoom out on your timeline. So there we go, they are the brand new features in LumaFusion 3.1. Now let me know in the comments section below if there's anything you would like to know about LumaFusion or this version here, and also let me know if you've downloaded it. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out this playlist here. This is our full playlist of LumaFusion tutorials. I'll see you there.